Hello, welcome to the uh, we'll show you the full gameplay of the World Angelos Gamila Our game, so this is a puzzle adventure 3D game We have, this is the tutorial level, as you can see there's text that shows gameplay stuff and how it shows the player how to play so there's a few obstacles in this course for example the fan I just ran into it will push the player away and these cannons that can kill people so we have to avoid these obstacles and we progress to this level and try to solve the puzzle so just like that I just died to a cannon and so we will respawn back at the start of the level so we go through here you see you can see there's a text that says to turn on the switch using the button using the box so we pick up this box and voila the button is turned on so this button can turn on the fans it's like here now the fan do not release wind so we can pass right through it so you know there's another fan over there blocking our way to the exit and so I can pick up this box right here and uh, oops, wait for the cannon and now it's a block you can place it on the button here and then the fan is switched off so that's the basic gameplay for the tutorial it's very easy to teach and uh, people how to play the game so this is the exit so we have a new mechanic called the keris kit so we have to collect the keris over here the X as a key to unlock the gate so just bring it and then the gate opens automatically then we can pass to the next level so this is level 2 um, I almost got killed we pick up the keris over there and we can unlock some doors over here you can see there's a button so we have to find a block somewhere like above here there's a box and turn off this fan so there's another box inside of there and also another grace we pick that up and while dodging these cannons so the goal of this game actually try and find the um, flag that our main character has lost his name is Tua and as we can see behind that gate over there there is a Jalo Gemilang so our mission is to try and retrieve the Jalo Gemilang for the Tua now we collect we have to unlock the gate first before we can do that so let's bring on the Chris gate and to the keys and we can open the gate but this Particular gate is a variation that requires three keys instead of just one, like the smaller one. So this big one requires three. Well, once you have three, and voila, it opens up just like the first one. So we have our time here. So once we press continue, maybe a small animation, we can pick up the flight, but the flight just runs away. So with the chase away, now we're at level three. So in level 3, we have a new mechanic, it's called moving platform, so we can use that to traverse through the level a lot easier, we can even bring our box onto the platform, uh, just like this. So right now all we have to do is just sort to serve and go on this platform here. The levels are pretty big and can get pretty confusing time so that adds the challenge for the players and every level it gets a lot harder but you know it also gets a lot more fun a lot a few more obstacles so here we bring the Chris gate we obtain earlier to the gate when it we like then we see a button there so we have to go back and pick up the blocks we may have found down there up here we can pick up another keris just waiting for the cannon now we got this so bring this box up to the fan 
So as you can see when we are holding the box our walking is slower than normal so yep. so just like that it is much easier for us to become targets for the cannon so the players have to be careful you know, uh, to time it correctly so they don't get shot by the cannon right here we make a pass and we'll just walk carefully time it properly and voila, barely just miss hidden ball, here's another one again this is the timing now well, we got this bring it to the button and the fan and the fan just stop so we bring this to the carriage gate and as we can see it's a big gate so we require 3 we have to find 2 more carriage keys so while I'm doing that, I will explain a little bit about uh, our game. And then over here, let's wait and there's a secret, not really secret, there's a courtesy kit over here. Also, uh, if you uh, have noticed, there is a timer for each level. So when the timer runs out, we have to restart the level all over again. But, but if we just die normally, all the other stuff that we have changed, like for example, putting this key into this gate and the blocks onto the buttons, it will remain. But when we run out of time we have to redo everything all over again we collect the button again and stuff also we have to be careful because the player can fall very easily from the ledges that's also a part of the challenge for this puzzle game and then with the final key we can unlock the last door of the door and go pick up our flag. That's our time. The menu is a bit messy for now, but we will improve on it later. Now we have ended level 3. Yes, we see the flag runs away. So, this is by far the hardest level, as it is the final level of the game. So, here we can go down here, pick up a few Curtis Gate. To go to the middle platform here which is behind the spawn platform and we can find a big curry's gate with uh, as we can see it was just showing you that we cannot pick up more than one curry's key, key at the same time so that adds to the challenge makes the player have to backtrack to the stage now we can go here grab this Key and return back to the middle platform and open the big Chris gate and voila there's uh, and there's a few two boxes so th this means there's a fan somewhere that we have to turn off it's going to block our way from getting back the flag so this level is also a bit bigger than the last one so as you can see the timer is also more than what we had so we can find there's a button blocked by a gate we have to, use, have to go find a key first before we can unlock that just go to platforms and then there's a grace gate and then you can see over there there is a, our flag that we unfortunately cannot go through uh, we will get to it uh, one way or another right now we just have to finish the puzzle little bit by little bit so we brought our Chris gate we can give it to the kid now pick up the box can pass through and turn off turn off that fan alright 
So right now we have to go straight to the middle. We have finished on the left side of the map. Now we have to go finish the right side of the map. There's a, as you can see, there's a gate over there. So meaning we have to search for a key somewhere. Uh huh. So even though we have a key down in the middle, like uh, yeah, I will show you that there is another key. Stage. It will make it easier, but before that, I'll show you that this platform leads us back to the middle of this, the middle stage with the big key, curry key. So we can go back here to pick up the box that we left. That one. Foiler. So we have now we wait for the moving platform. So um, our game is for the controls. It, uh, we are compatible. Uh, we have compatibility with the keyboard. And also a joystick, so player can use um, either option to control the characters using a keyboard or a joystick. Which no, which is helpful for players who prefer to play on one method over the other. So here's the other key, Chris key. Which we can bring down to the gate. And as we go over here, we can unlock the Chris gate, pick up this box, and turn off that fan. Now we just have to go back to the middle of the stage. Get this Keris key. Open that Keris key. And voila, we have reached the end. So thank you for playing. Let you show our score and our total time. But that is all for today, thank you.